Hey, we're back for another autumn themed Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Last time we made a sunflower. This time we're going to make a pumpkin. Maybe more specifically, pumpkin spice latte. Nobody gets tired of that, right? I mean, it's only August and I'm already talking about it on here. So to begin, uh, use a ellipse. And for the colors on this, just my default swatches. I'll use a light orange for the color. I can always change it later if I need to. And for the stroke, I'm going to use this dark kind of brownish color right here. I think that'll work nicely. And maybe I'll change up the um, stroke on that just a little bit to be able to see it. A little bit easier and to begin with you know just make I have a tall oval we're gonna start with the pumpkin that's gonna be the kind of the logo I guess of this and once I have that done then I can also go over here to stroke and I can change the profile and I'll use this with profile to give it a little bit more of a dynamic look with that shape right there and then once we have that done then we can actually hold down our alt key and bring out our second shape over here then bring in our third one over here and maybe we'll bring these a little closer together And with these outer two, I might actually even make them just a little bit taller. And we can always adjust these more as we go on later. Uh, then this back middle one, I'll use my control and my right bracket to bring it up to the front. So you can kind of see what we're starting to do here. Uh, then I'm going to... Bring this one over here from the side and bring it over a little bit and then this one I'm also going to increase the size just a little bit and then I'll bring this one over here um, about that far too and then send it send it to the back all right, so as we look at these, you can kind of see where you're looking at with this. Um, you know, just playing around with the space, getting it to where it looks something that's kind of like a pumpkin there. And as far as this goes, like maybe the one out here in the middle, I might just bring the that one out a little bit and I do think that looks pretty good uh, maybe just bring this out just a little bit more same with this one alright and I think that is decent um, once you have that part done then maybe just bringing in a couple from behind so maybe making a copy of this one here and then this one I'll bring up the size a little bit and send it all the way to the back and another one back over here it almost kinda reminds me of like orange pieces or something like that uh, when you're done with it, but all right, and then maybe we'll just bring two more, and then these two we'll send to the very back, and this one down here we can then kind of move those around if we need to. I think that looks pretty good for this part right here. Uh, next thing you'll want to do is, oh, maybe with your pen tool. Here we 
we go. And yeah, definitely pen tool. So I'm going to click uh, once and then where I want it to end. it out to the side like that and then alt click and then if I go over here and just kind of connect these two and then maybe here I'll click and drag this just to make however you want this uh, stem to be all right and then once that's all connected then we can actually go over to the fill here and choose choose a color you like uh, with that and then also just to kind of go with the same um, theme here for the stroke on this I'm going to choose a dark green for this and then increase the stroke there and then change that profile and I think that looks pretty good so then once we get that in there uh, then just using control left bracket to kind of hide it behind those those front parts of the pumpkin and I think that actually looks pretty decent if you want to add a vine we can also do that here so like using my pen tool again I might start like here I'll click and then oh click and then drag to here and then maybe bring this over here and then click and drag this one up over to here and then bring it down there and then just alt click to end that and then we can turn the fill off and then the stroke turn it up here for right now and if you don't like well we'll do a few things first so uh, that's there and then we can actually change that stroke profile down here from like from here to where it starts off narrow and gets wider that's one thing you can do or you can also do something like this if you need to and, ch and click this little flip along button to make it gradually get wider out this way so over here like when I when I see mine this isn't like the greatest uh, look with this so I can actually kind of click on these points and try to fix that curve a little bit if I need to. Definitely helps. And then just change that width as you need it. And then uh, we can actually kind of move that back behind there a little bit. And I think that'll work nice for the pumpkin uh, maybe change the width of this stroke here make it just a little bit bigger um, if you are working on the pumpkin here and you don't like necessarily just the same look of these strokes like on the outside here what I might do here is I might choose this with profile one to give it the thicker line on the outside and then I'll do the same thing over here and then again I'll just click this flip along button over here and if that doesn't work then I can just rotate that upside down and then get the stroke where I want it on the outside and I think now I think we're in business as far as that goes so uh, I'm going to select all that right click group it together all right and then move this around a little bit I may need to as I'm shrinking that this is keeping the same width for that so I may need to to adjust that a little later 
um, you can always you can always do that and then I'll for now move this just to, out of the corner here out of the way a little bit all right next thing we have is the rectangle tool so for this I want to make the cup so I'm just going to draw a rectangle here the fill for this oh maybe just like a, a real light gray type of cup for right now and uh, the outer stroke of this I'll go with the same color that I used for the the pumpkin actually alright and we have that there so then once that's done I can actually use this tool over here the direct selection tool and just draw around that corner all right and then if I click and drag this out a little bit and do the same thing with that over here um, just to give it a slight angle of that coffee cup look all right and I think something like that will probably work well and then I'm gonna alt click this and make a copy of it and make one that's just a little bit bigger Maybe not quite that big just a little bit bigger just a little taller and wider and then I'll center these with each other okay and then using a rectangle up here and maybe another rectangle down here this is going to be like the kind of cardboard piece that's going to be going around the outside of the cup so you don't burn your hand when you're holding it okay and I'll choose these top two rectangles and I'll go with the minus the front and then I'll do the same thing with these two alright so here's our little cardboard piece and then I might change the color of this one to be like uh, that's a pretty good color but I don't know what if I make it a little bit lighter yeah that's better all right so there's our little cardboard picture there and then I will bring this oh, here let's make this bigger I do have some text I want to put with this so I won't make it I won't make it too big all right and then I can bring the pumpkin here bring that smaller bring it up to the front and maybe put this right here and one last time shrink that text or shrink that stroke of that shape and then I will do the same with these two make it just a little bit narrower and again that's just all kind of fine-tuning things uh, used to however that you want that to be and it should be fine alright so now just a couple of rectangles here for the lid and I will go about like this And just a little closer on the two sides so it's not too much wider all right and then we'll change the color of that to match that of the pumpkin the stroke will have be the same and if we make a copy of that one this one have it kind of stick out through the top like that and then maybe move it behind 
we have a nice lid there. And then with these, I think we can actually even go in here to the stroke and go in here to the profile and change this stuff up so that it looks good. And then if you need to make the width of some of these a little bit wider for your style, you can sure do that. I think we're in business. All right, and then uh, once we're once we're done with that, then we can use our type tool here. And then just click down here at the bottom, and um, yeah, some kind of a hand drawn style typeface will work good. can select this type here and center this and obviously I have a little bit too much room in there between between my lines so I'll just change that over here in my character part bigger there and then let's see the other thing I would like to do is maybe then just change these colors to match the color theme of our project so uh, that matches the outer stroke and then look here and there we go so kind of a simple little pumpkin coffee graphic that you can play around with or if you just want to go with just the pumpkin itself and the text uh, using Adobe Illustrator. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll probably try to do a few more autumn type themed tutorials with Illustrator and Photoshop in the near future and then we'll kind of move on to something else. Appreciate you watching and we'll get you on the next video.